the first pond I dug down back was where I was going to build a house that I've never built. Um, accumulated enough logs and dug a pond to keep them in. It's, it's a savings account for our company. It's, it's pretty much exactly what it is. It, uh, it gives us a position where we probably are holding two to three years worth of operating raw materials uh, of river recovered hard pine. Not our other species, but river, it's all river recovered hard pine that's in the pond. And it's just like being suspended in time until we need it. At the Goodwin Company, we are the pioneers of river recovered wood flooring and products. Diving deep into rivers and surfacing centuries old logs lost long ago. These were some of the first trees cut from America's virgin forest over 125 years ago and floated down river to port. Many of the denser logs sank to the bottom where they have been perfectly preserved in the low oxygen environment. When milled, they yield the richest patina. I first bought a sawmill in, I think, 1978, um, a wore out sawmill. Um, it was in, in partnership with a fellow by the name of John Bussart. Um, and we first set it up, up in Worthing, I mean, not in Worthing Springs, but in, near High Springs at Rum Island. And then before we got it running, we moved it here. That partnership dissolved and due to a lot of work, hard work on a lot of people's part, a lot of help from a lot of places. Uh, we were able to get started with an old circular sawmill that um, we ran for like 15 years. And uh, due to the cost of our raw materials, we switched over to band saws after 15 years of running those. We also upgraded our, we used to run an old Babbitt bearing planer, planer mill, which uh, we rebuilt with the help of some old timers um, and ran it for about 14 years before we were able to afford a, a modern day molder which we're running now. Back in the 1970s, George Goodwin, a master carpenter, acquired some logs recovered from the Suwannee River and the rest is history. The virgin quality rich red patina and amazing grains of this underwater heart pine and cypress as well as the rarity and historical significance became george's passion goodwin's wood has won numerous awards including the national wood floor association's floor of the year 10 times since 1997. We work with the entire design build team to give our clients what they want, and probably the most important distinction. Goodwin is a manufacturer who tries to avoid unclear marketing claims. All materials are carefully kiln dried, quality milled, have well-defined standard grades, and are supported by our established technical expertise. Goodwin's environmental mission extends way beyond the green processes we use to recover and manufacture our products. Goodwin Company founder George Goodwin spearheaded the development of the Florida Deadhead Logging Permit, which must be obtained by anyone desiring to recover logs and bodies of water in the state of Florida. George Goodwin pioneered an environmental river recovery permit in Florida that protects the river habitat while allowing divers to recover the rare antique logs. Goodwin became the first reclaimed wood company to manufacture an engineered floor at home in America in 2007 instead of outsourcing.
Our reclaimed wood flooring, architectural millwork, and stairs have been used in fine homes, commercial projects, and historical restorations, including Independence Hall, the Texas Governor's Mansion, Mount Vernon, the Fort Matanzas National Monument, the Ernest Hemingway House in Key West, and many more. <laughs>